Hello everybody, uh, today's going to be kind of a review video of Linux Mint. Now I was told about it on YouTube, or not YouTube, Twitter rather. Uh, it's a live CD on VMware Workstation and this is not the right time, but uh, I really actually think this is better than Ubuntu because it has kind of the same start bar as Windows, or at least it's down here at least, and th they've made it so much easier to find anything that you want on here. Uh, if you can't find anything here, just go to filter and then type in what you want. So let's just say I want open office. There you go. Uh, so it kind of has the search that Vista has. Um, now I do have to get used to Ubuntu actually. Or not Ubuntu Linux. I was thinking of dual booting my system, uh, Windows XP and Linux Mint, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. Now I have added a few things, uh, but that's not really important. If you ever want to add adjustments to your computer, um, then or a computer com his config. Uh, you can always add more stuff that way. Like I added a uh, wiggly window. I forgot exactly what's, what that's called, but I also really love this text editor right here. And I'm going to see if I can get it for Windows. I love the theme, I love the Firefox. I love everything about this new Ubuntu, that uh, new Linux that they came out with. I like this here, gedit. Um, I'm going to see if they have an alternative or it for Windows, actually, because I mean, it, it, it's awesome. How can you not like this? Uh, I wish they ha had this theme for XP. I'm pretty sure they do, but I don't feel like getting it. But overall, I think they've done a great job. Uh, definitely rated 5 out of 5. See, this is a live CD. I haven't installed it yet. Uh, it's on VMware, so I'm not going to install it. And plus, you get all the things you would get if you'd normally install it. Uh, you get all that on a live CD. And it's a lot safer, too. Uh, my sound works. Um, I'm not using anything in... Uh, Linux to record this. I'm actually using Camtasia Studio outside of the VMware workstation box. Now you can see all these cool and great uh, wallpapers. If I find out where these are, I will definitely do a tutorial on it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a lot of tutorials on Linux Mint unless I actually install it on my computer. Probably keep in VMware Workstation so I can use uh, Camtasia Studio to record any videos for it. But overall, I would definitely rate it a 10 out of 10. Uh, I like everything about it so far. I think they did a great job on it. And yeah, I mean, these backgrounds are amazing. We really cool. If you're one of those types of people who uh, like graphical backgrounds. And you don't even have to change it to look at it. It just fades out, which is pretty nice. Uh, and then they've got visual effects. Um, I haven't really played around with any of this stuff before, or yet rather. So you can you can fool around with everything. Uh, but the theme. They have many themes, just like Ubuntu. Let's see what Wild Mint looks like. See, you don't even have to, you don't even have to hit Apply and OK or whatever to get it. It just puts it on there so you can see it. I don't know why that did that, but all right, there we go. I actually like this one. I'll probably keep this one. So basically that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you like my tutorials, and I'll see you next time.